Jesse, and welcome back into the show, everyone. Now, I know you guys enjoy Tax Talk Tuesday just as much as I do, but guess what? This is our last one for the year, so let's make it good. So, you know, our tax angel, Lori Carpenter, is here, <laughs> as always, to help us out. Hey, Lori. Hey, how's it going? I'm good. I'm so sad this is our last <laughs> one. But we're going to make it good for the people out there. And this is a really great topic. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk about when we owe the IRS. Yes. Kind of scary. That's like the scary portion for me. So yeah. when we find out that we do owe them, how does it work? Like, do I call up, I got your money, <laughs> smoke signals, send a pigeon? How does it work? Well, you can call us, of course. <laughs> but um, there are some do's and don'ts that I would say we should uh, really follow. So do go ahead and file once you know you owe. Right? Okay. Do make a payment if you can. Now, if you can't pay it all, pay what you can. So do go ahead and make that payment at least as much as possible. Okay. And then do look at your tax situation and figure out what you can do differently so you don't end up in this situation again. Okay. Now, when we, when you say pay as much as you can, mm -hmm. is there a certain portion kind of that we should try to hit, like pay at least 10% or can you say, here's a 20? <laughs> Well, like we're splitting a bill at dinner. <laughs> <laughs> they don't really want you to do that. And of course, the best is always to pay the whole thing. Because if you don't pay by the tax filing deadline, you're going to end up with penalties and interest. And that's our P&I. Okay. So as soon as it is late, so midnight on May 17th, if you have not made that payment, you now have a penalty. And those penalties start at $435 Ooh. for a late payment. Plus interest every day. There's adding some interest to what you owe. So when I say pay as much as you can, if you've got 20, pay 20. If you can pay the whole amount, pay the whole amount. Okay, okay. And now also we want to go back and make corrections, mm -hmm. right? So, but what happens if you just owe, you, you, like you just do? Well, there has to be a reason that you owe. Either your withholding changed, and I will say the withholding tables have changed the last three years in a row. So some people didn't even realize their withholding was a little bit less this year, uh, but it was because that's just how the employers had to withhold. So you need to see what changed, what caused you to owe. And if you need help to look at that, I am always happy, and so are our employees at Stadler & Company. That's what we do, is we want to help you plan so that you don't end up in a situation that comes as a surprise. Okay, because uh, I will say, I get mad if I find out I owe. <laughs> I'm like, I am not rich. It's like uh, <laughs> that line in uh, Bridesmaids, help me, I'm poor. <laughs> it's like, I don't, I can't possibly owe you guys any money. But um, so now let's talk about extensions because uh -huh. we've, we've talked about that on another Tax uh -huh. Talk Tuesday, but we shouldn't file those extensions if we find out we owe, correct? Not necessarily. Now, if you're still waiting on some more information, you may need to file an extension, but if you're pretty sure you're going to owe, you still need to make that payment, even if you're going to file an extension. Okay, and we also have to pay attention to our males. I am guilty of this. <laughs> Not our males, our male. <laughs> <laughs> the males, too, sometimes. You know, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I am guilty of this, just taking mail and kind of shoving it in my, my little box of, of mail that I use whenever I go to the mm -hmm. mailbox, but we need to be on the lookout for letters from the IRS, right? You do, and I know so many people are afraid of what it's going to say that they just don't even want to look at it, mm -hmm. but you need to really be proactive and don't ignore that mail. Um, you can make a plan. There are lots of different options if you are going to owe and you can't pay the whole thing, and so there are ways to resolve the issue. You just can't ignore it and expect it's going to just magically go away. Yeah, and that's a really great reason why you should like bring them into Stadler and Company Tax <laughs> Services because we've talked in the past about how the IRS can sound like a big bully and yeah. you owe me this much and then you just freak out because we also don't want to panic, right? That's true because if you panic and uh, you're going to do things that aren't helpful to your situation, <laughs> there, are, like I said, there are ways that you can resolve it. And, you know, we've been trained in how to talk to the IRS so that that we get those resolved and I will say sometimes you don't actually owe what they're saying you owe so if you just get a letter that doesn't mean don't just pay it if you don't think you owe it and don't panic we can help you get it resolved all right it's like getting beat up for your lunch money like oh just take it I don't know they say I owe it <laughs> all right
right, Lori, thank you so much for being here. Guys, this was our last Tax Talk Tuesday. I don't oh, know what I'm going to oh, do. You know what? I brought something because okay. all season you have talked about helping <laughs> me, helping you become an adult <laughs> and, and these talks really helping you. So I did bring you a certificate <gasps> of adulting. Oh, look at that, <laughs> guys. So let me read this to you. It says, <laughs> for outstanding achievement and in recognition of gaining necessary knowledge and skills to make tax decisions and is hereby recognized as a full adult with all rights and privileges yeah! herein. I don't know how I was, pro <laughs> I was operating before. Yeah, I love a good uh, plaque. And uh, this is going somewhere in the studio, okay? I want bumps in and out of the show of this plaque, okay? Yeah! Oh, man. Thank you so much, Lori. It's just been a pleasure to work with you this year. Oh, it's been a pleasure to work with you, too. I don't know what I'm going to do with my Tuesday. <laughs> Who's going to come in on Tuesday? <laughs> Nobody will replace Lori Carter. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you so much. And just for the last time, you want to give everybody out there uh, some information where they can go to get uh, more information on Stadler and Company Tax Services. Of course. Services. You can check out our uh, our website at stadlertax.com. Check out our Facebook page at Stadler and Company Tax and Accounting. Or as always, you can check your tax knowledge at playtaxgame.com. Guys, stay right there because we got more Good Day Live when we get back. And I got a plaque.